what is up you guys it's your girl the real mrs j <laughs> hey y'all i am so behind like so so behind but i really 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 needed to take a much needed mental break um from the youtube streets like Every time I would like try and, you know, I'll go and appear in somebody's lab and speak and everything. And, um, you know, my kids or somebody will call me and then I'll, I'll have to be out. But, you know, it was an eventful day. Got some things taken care of. Did some self-care. Um, I woke up this morning. You know, things have been kind of stressful. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go and get my get me one of those spa mani pedis, you know the kind where they um put that hot wax on your feet. <laughs> when I tell you, oh my gosh, I just wanted to go to sleep. I I did kind of nod off a little bit. I ain't even gonna front y'all, but I really, really, really needed that. I really did. And um, you know, t- today was a pretty good day. I mean. I got to spend a day with my babies. Um, I even I had to uh, go and make a stop and check on one of my friend's mom today because she had been trying to get in contact with her mom for a couple of days and she doesn't live in town. And so it was somebody that I grew up with. They reached out to me and asked me, could I, you know, go and see if their mom was okay and so i did that and that was pretty cool because she hadn't seen me in like so long and like we hugged like five times and like this lady's been knowing me since i was a little kid so it took her a few few times to like a couple of double takes to realize who i was but it was pretty cool like it made me smile it really 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 made me smile Um, and then, you know, last night I found out that one of my close, 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 close family members was locked up. And I mean, like some BS over some old warrant. And I mean, like things is just like going so good in her life right now. Like she got a good job just bought her a car she got a place like you know she was finally on her feet and here come this bullshit so i just been dealing with a lot y'all because like i literally found that out at like i guess like one o'clock in the morning and so that kind of just just blew me because i woke up real sad and um you know we we're like real real super duper close like she's like We call each other sister cousins because our dads are identical twins and her and I look alike. And even one of my daughters look just like her. And our our birthdays is two, two, uh, birth of our birthdays, um, is on the second, um, same month, same year. I mean, not same year, but we're two years apart. I mean, like, she's just like my sister. Like, I'm closer to her than I am my, my biological sister. So, um, yeah, so I was, you know, was pretty much going through it about that because she doesn't have a bond. So there's nothing that I can do to help her. And that's that sucks, too, because it's like you want to help, but you can't. It's like that. Oh, when it's just something that's out of your control, it's just like. But yeah, so anyway, I've just been coming on here, you know, briefly here and there. Um, I haven't really looked at the situation like with them paying people to, to, you know, with the subscribers paying people, paying them, Pizarro and them to drop people on the panel and stuff like that. You know, it's a new hustle coming from over there every freaking time you turn around. It's a new hustle. Like, I bet you Pizarro got her crab water today, didn't it? I bet she did. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. I try. Like, I was, I, I did, I was cleaning up the, um, I was cleaning up, you know, the space where the puppies are. And, um, so I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna listen to Lady Nika and them. Because, uh, to be honest with y'all, I have a hard time really 
following them like they I, I guess they had I mean they had a decent discussion today um Miss Cruiser was on there and they was just talking about you know the kids today and how it's um harder to raise girls than it is boys and which I agree I, I totally agree because I have two daughters and um yeah they are I mean they're good girls I don't have any complaints but that oldest one child that thing, whew, she be giving me a run for my money. And I do mean a run for my money. Because, like, for example, today she was like, um, I was like, dang, why is it that Leos be doing doing the most? Like, they be coming on um, Facebook and be like, yeah, it's Leo season. Oh, it's Leo season all month. Like, they are the one Zodiac that be doing the entire most. Oh, my God. Why did I have to say that? Mommy, it, there is nothing wrong with somebody being happy because it's their birthday. And I mean, told me I was a hater and all types of stuff. And told me something went down. Whenever she see me hating, she going to call me out. And I'm just like, this girl right here. Like, girl, I ain't your friend. Like, I'm your mama. I bust you in your mouth. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would never bust my baby in the mouth. Uh, for real, for real. I'm. It's funny, Miss Cruz. If you listen to this, I'm the same way. I just did not spank my kids. I think I may have that youngest one boy. I had to pop her a few times when she was probably like two years old back then. But I haven't had to do that. So my kids, you know, my husband will be like, "I'm disappointed in y'all," and they'll bust out crying like they was those type of kids. So I never really had to spank them. So, you know, just I be talking trash, y'all, but I'm one of the mamas. I ain't going to do nothing. For, <laughs> I ain't going to do nothing for real. But, but yeah, those are my two little broke besties. Um, but I'm going to take them tomorrow cause, um, to do some shirt shopping because we did, like, you know, the bottom shopping um, the week before last. And so this week we doing like shirt. We just getting all shirts and stuff like that to go with their, you know, to create their outfits for school. Um, but other than that, y'all, I ain't, you know, I haven't really been. I've been kind of paying attention. Y'all you know. And hold on, let me just say this real quick before I go. Because somebody, um, Lady Tia, I'm going to at least give you 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to at least give you a good 10 minutes. <laughs> How soon is it before you tell somebody that you love them? Like, how soon was it for y'all? Like, when y'all told somebody that y'all liked, that y'all loved them because... You know, Tr Tracy just heard the move she makes is disturbing. Like, and I gonna know y'all gonna say, uh, uh, Miss J, you hating? She happy, leave her alone. I know y'all gonna say that, but um, I'm the real Miss J. I'm gonna keep it real and I'm gonna call out foolishness when I freaking see it. Okay, I don't care what y'all think. All right, you don't like it? Um, I don't know what to tell you. Get over it. Okay, here's a tissue. Here's a tissue, Tito. Because, um, yeah. So, anyway, I say that because, you know, I saw her live. She, she's in Detroit and in, in the Dirty D with a uh, mobile. And, first of all, mobile said something to me that was kind of a little out there. I, me, personally, I wouldn't have found it funny. Not as a grown-ass 50-something-year-old woman. When he said, yeah, Tracy don't mind getting flewed out for some dick. Like, huh? To me, I I would have just been like, I don't know. Mm, that just didn't just, I ain't like that. I'm sorry. Uh, like, that's a red flag to me. I'm sorry that's a red flag. And no, hey, Miss J, you just hating. Let Tracy be happy. Okay, I mean, it's a red flag, period. Um, secondly, um, she's just telling this guy she loves him. She doesn't even really know him. Um, you can't really get to know somebody over the telephone um, or via uh, videos. Like, you really have to prove a person before you start hollering about you love them, okay? 
Um, you can have a strong like, but love takes a long time to establish whether y'all know it or not. Okay. But like I said, you can have a strong like for someone. Um, but I was also looking at Kiki and Kiki said some stuff that made a whole lot of sense. Why would you be flying to Detroit where he is? Why couldn't he fly out there to where you were and stayed at a hotel and you guys met or whatever, went out on some dates or whatever? Like, you don't know this dude like this. You don't know he already be doing shrooms from what I heard. He liable to slip or slip your ass a Mickey. Next thing you know, you waking up and your booty hole hurt. Like, girl, you too trusting. You was way too trusting. And then to go somewhere and not even have transportation is weird to me. That's weird. Um, yeah, As you guys know, I went to Atlanta, Georgia back in March. And my cousin was like, oh, we could pick you up from the airport. Oh, hell no. Hells to the no, no. The real Miss J going to rent her a car. I ain't going nowhere and don't have no transportation. Because when it sh if shit hit the fan, I'm going to be able to get up and go. And I ain't got to wait on nobody. I ain't got to ask nobody for nothing. Even if I got to drive myself home, I'm going to have me some transportation. Okay, I'm going to have money in my pocket. And I'm going to have me some transportation, okay? So, to me, that's weird. I'm never going nowhere depending on nobody. And y'all see that that was for, you know, this is even including my family. So, no. So, just the moves that's being made, is I'm not impressed. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not impressed. She Now, that wig she had on looks really, really nice. Like, that was a really nice look for her. It really was. But I just wish that she would be a little smarter, you know, and make smarter moves. Now, one other thing, okay, you say that Reed didn't have no education, but child, somebody said in the in the, in the uh, chat, are y'all going to Bell Isle? She said, Bell is a little chat. <laughs> That's just like that damn lol. You know, somebody put LOL for laugh out loud. And she said, lol. But you going to talk about somebody don't, don't have no education? Girl, you don't know what owl. You don't know how to spell or pronounce owl. That was just weird to me. But yeah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we'll see how this, this trip goes. I mean, to be honest with y'all, I hope it goes a lot better than these last uh, couple of trips she's made. Um, but, yeah, I just I wish her the best. Um, you know, if she was to get stuck or something and she ain't had no way home, you know, I sent her a nasty piece of cash app to help her out. I did the last time when she was with Rob Rack. But, you know, she just, uh, these moves she be making be reckless. Like, you don't be knowing these people. People crazy. You just, from you seeing them on YouTube or even talking to them over the phone a few months, that don't mean nothing either. You see the black dude on the Jeffrey Dahmer show, him and Jeffrey Dahmer, they was hitting it off. But Jeffrey Dahmer murked his ass in the end, didn't it? So, yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying. But y'all hear my damn dogs. They just can't shut up. But anyway, I love you guys. I just wanted to come on here and say something. So <laughs> I'll be able to, um, you know, I'll be able to catch up and stuff. And I ain't even going to say it'll be tomorrow morning or nothing like that. It probably will be by tomorrow night because I still I got a few things to do tomorrow as well with these kids. But I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, The Real Mrs. J. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.